Okay, now to something that uh, some folks might call their worst nightmare, and it happened to someone here in San Diego. A snake came up through a toilet in an historic building downtown. And BC Simmons' Vanessa Herrera is here to tell us, uh, Vanessa, how this is even possible because a lot of times this is like an urban myth right yeah i thought it was an urban myth too and that snake is no joke it's five feet long six inches round the poor girl who saw it coming out of the toilet already had a fear of snakes and she hasn't used that toilet since and i have to say i don't blame her it's many people's worst fear a snake coming up through a toilet some even say it's an urban legend but stephanie loxa co-owner of vertical pr and marketing saw firsthand that it can happen. I just came in, noticed that the water levels were higher than normal, so I used the plunger to, you know, unclog the toilet. But what she thought was waste clogging the toilet started to move. Once I realized that it was moving and coming higher and higher, that's when I was like, okay, this, this is not debris, this is definitely a snake, and this is a very, very large snake. Loxa says as soon as she saw the snake's tongue slithering in and out, she freaked out. Once I realized that that was a snake, I uh, flew out of the bathroom, shutting the door behind me. I called. She called her business partner, but she didn't believe her. When a county animal services officer showed up, Loxa couldn't leave what came out of the bathroom, a five-foot-long, six-inch round Colombian rainbow boa constrictor. Loxa already has a fear of snakes, and this sent her over the top. I mean, you don't expect that to ever happen. I know you, you, you hear about it, and even the uh, animal control officer, she said this is like an urban legend. So I was interested to see, you know, if, if ever did they, th this ever happened before. She's like, oh, we get snake calls all the time, but this has never happened before. It hasn't happened in San Diego in the last 25 years, maybe even longer than that, if ever. So how in the world did it get there? Loxa wonders if the old pipes in the historic building are to blame, but County Animal Services says it's likely someone's pet and it didn't wander too far from home. It may have even gone in one toilet and out the other. I'm hoping it's someone's pet, but either way, I don't ever want that to happen again. And you can't blame her. Uh, the snake will be held until the owner comes forward, but if no one does, then it will be handed over to a snake rescue. Vanessa Herrera, NBC7.